guys today. I'm here at the uh, Honolulu uh, Judo Club, and uh, this is uh, Asano Kevin Sensei. So he's a silver medalist at the Olympics. And then uh, I met uh, Sensei Asano. So when I was in uh, San Jose, and then I just I'd like to ask him how you know this dojo happened okay, during the pandemic. Yes. Sensei, please go ahead. Thank you. So, actually, this all started when the, the Japanese national team and Olympic team was going to train in Hawaii back in January 2020. So in preparation for the team coming to Hawaii, I needed to purchase tatami. And so I decided I'm going to purchase from Japan. And I thought, well, how many are we going to purchase? So we bought the two, 320 tatami. And I decided that I would buy for myself or for our club 128 mats. Now at that time I didn't have any location because the location we had we were using could not take tatami. So I thought, in faith I'm going to buy these 128 tatami and I'm going to believe that something will open up in the future. So after the uh, event with the Japanese team, we stored the mats and then the pandemic happened right after that and there was no judo. And during that time, I thought to myself that uh, maybe it's time for me to retire. Uh, turn over the dojo to the next generation and I'll do other things. So that was pretty much in my mind. And, and also I was thinking that I had these mats. I was hoping, believing that something would turn up, a, a dojo, a space, but nothing came up. So I thought, well, maybe the thing that I need to do, I'm supposed to do with these tatami is to give them away, to donate them. So I was thinking, well, who am I going to donate this to? And then during that time, several months later, this place opened up. A friend of mine who owns the property asked if I would uh, like to use this facility. And uh, when we came, we put the mats here. And from the wall all the way to the, uh, the pillar here. The mats fit perfectly, maybe about a quarter inch space to the end of the pillar. And I realized that it wasn't by coincidence. This is, I purchased the mats nine months before this facility opened up, and I realized that God had prepared this place even before I knew it was available. And so, in faith, when I bought the 128 tatami in reality, God had already prepared this place. So when it came in, fit perfectly. You can't be any more close. Like I said, maybe a, a quarter inch, an eighth inch of space between wall to wall. And so, I realized that this is something that I need to do. And when I realize, you know, I am older, I'm uh, approaching 60, and I'm wondering, well, maybe I'm not supposed to do this new endeavor, but as it came out, I realized this is something that I'm supposed to do for the last quarter of my life, for the next 20 years, or how long more I have to live. This is what I'm supposed to do. It's not only about judo, not only about uh, winning, it's about raising quality people, people of character. Also, as a Christian, I feel that part of what I'm doing with judo is really to share the gospel or the good news of Jesus Christ. So it's, uh, I've become renewed. So uh, back in 2020, I was thinking I'm going to retire, not do judo anymore, but now I'm fully engaged for the next 20 years or <laughs> as long as I live. So it's an exciting uh, beginning that we have here at the dojo. Yes, thank you, Sensei. So, uh, yeah, this story sounds unreal, but it's real. It's, uh, again, like the Sensei like I mentioned, it's got, you know, prepared, you know, like the situation for, like, uh, that, and the asylum Sensei, but the, the, the judo, the whole judo community. Yes, so, thank you. I'm excited to uh, be a part of uh, our class today.